Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Bread. It's been a while, huh? Well, you know, it's been about a month since this game's been out, and I've, you know, I've prestiged, so I've kind of had, you know, some time to look at the pros and cons of the guns and whatnot, and I wanted to go ahead and make a couple of videos to show you that, um, you know, the gun isn't always what makes a player. So, I mean, I took a poll among everybody on my friends list, as well as I'd jump into public lobbies and people would think I'm crazy, but, you know, I'd be like, hey, what do you think the worst gun in the game is? And I got an overwhelming response for the Uzi. So I, I kind of took it upon myself to see how good I could do with an Uzi. So this is what this game is. It's a game on jungle. I am using a Uzi with a grip, lightweight, uh, sight of hand, and ninja. I have sight of hand pro and uh, a Kimbo or whatever dual wield uh, M1 or M1911, M1911, whatever you want to call it. And obviously, I don't know if I've said this, but we're playing on uh, jungle. Man, it's been a while since I've done commentary. <laughs> I mean, so I, I really just want to give you guys an update and see what's what's been going on with all of you guys, you know? You know, Black Ops as a whole has... I don't know, I, I feel like it's... Not that I'm bored of it, it's just I'm kind of getting bored of the maps, per se. But um, I know that there's a lot of people struggling, you know, I go into all these lobbies and the game's been out for a month and there's still a lot of, um, you know, baby buffalo, which is, you know, people that could definitely uh, use some help uh, with the maps and such. And, you know, you know, on jungle, it's kind of hard to pick a spot and say you're always going to do good here uh, because uh, especially this area that I'm in right now quickly becomes a, uh, a clusterfuck. Uh, as you're going to uh, see right now, as you can see, they're all spawning around me, and that's not the best position you want to be in. Um, so, you know, you have to have a decent gun, which is why I, I dropped the Uzi, uh, or, you know, just not using it right now and using the Commando. Um, just because I know that the Commando is an awesome gun. With the red dot, it basically becomes an ACR, and here I just really get outplayed. And I was kind of careless, but calling him a Napalm Strike. Um, you know, I, I wanted to give the show a little bit more production value, but um, I really need to know what what do you guys want to learn? Do you want to learn like spots on the map? Do you guys want to learn spawns? Do you want to you know like weapon tricks and such? I mean, because it, it's hard to want to, because I, I definitely want to make content that's going to help you guys in any way, and uh, I need to know what you guys want. So if you guys can leave me a comment, you know, just saying what do you guys think uh, would be helpful for uh, tips and tricks as far as Black Ops goes, or do you just, you just want to know, like, in general, you know, uh, kind of explain why I'm using side to hand I mean, obviously, getting that quick reload off before the other person um, is very important, and I think right here is where I, yeah, stupidly get uh, panic-knifed and uh, wasn't really paying attention. Another good spot on Jungle, before we uh, move on, this spot right here, um, this kind of corner area um, by the, the sniper cliff, because everybody camps on this sniper cliff. No joke, I was playing a game and the entire team was up there. It was so impossible to get any kill because they all had claymores on and motion sensors. So it was pretty damn hard to get near this cliff without just getting annihilated. And uh, it, it <laughs> took some well-placed grenades and uh, we ended up getting a care package that gave us rolling thunder and kind of bombarded the crap out of them. Uh, kind of this guy right here. This is bringing up a topic which is awareness. I mean, if, if you guys are playing this game and you guys want to be successful, please have awareness. I mean, I've played with people that, I mean, come on, you, you might as well just have your TV turned off because, like, that guy, not only did I jump, but I was completely vulnerable. I was swapping weapons incredibly slow. Here's another good tip. See that guy over here? Um... A, a novice player probably would have just like rushed up in front of him and you know just gotten shot this game uh, for some reason makes me feel like Call of Duty's kind of taking a little bit more uh, uh, smarts you know in Modern Warfare 2 at first it came down to who had the better gun but then everybody uses the UMP 45 so it just became a game of who can camp the hardest and shoot first you know this game uh, even if you fire first there is still a chance the other person has a better aim and gets those shots off where it counts, you know? Or they run behind cover, you run up and spray because you forget to reload and... That was a weird phone ring. It, <laughs> it rang like half a ring. Anyways, thank you, phone, for interrupting me. 
All right, my mind totally went blank. Okay, um, so, yeah, here I almost kill myself off and dive. Uh, saves my life. That was really weird, though. Thank you for hanging up, at least. That would have been annoying if I would have kept going. Uh, Famas, oh, panic knife. Guys, okay. This this is a really kind of random, sporadic commentary. I can already see where this is going. But the panic knifing is really kind of annoying. I mean, it's, it's great for them because, of, you know, I gotta kill. But, you know, th there's no reason for me to come around the corner and obviously just die. But that also kind of ties into, you know, being aware. Uh, on my part, I definitely should have checked that corner and not gone around the corner so tightly because um, you know, if you know that there's no one around that corner, like if I were to post myself up like right here, you see I'm I'm really tight up against the uh, the left side wall of the doorway to try to minimize my profile, even though I should have been up on the right side profile or right side of the doorway to minimize that the best. Um, you really got to know where to place yourself because otherwise, or bleh, because otherwise you're going to get utterly destroyed. Um, so, recapping that really quick, if you know that there's no one there and you're putting yourself in a position, definitely stay tight. If you're going around a corner, you don't have a UE or a blackbird up, and you don't know what's around there, you definitely want to, I guess, go out a little bit farther. You don't want to be like wall hugging and then get panic knifed. Um, this map, though, especially if you're in this hut, you, like that, you're in a very precarious position because not only can it be shot through, it has a lot of exposed areas where they can see where you are. And then if you come over here, you see the back of this, that's covered, there's the, uh, the AA gun, that for, you know, you can go prone behind and you're screwed. And you have this hill right beside you, which is pretty populated. And you have this little pathway with the red hut, and, uh, I, a lot of people camp there, and this was really stupid of me, and I'm... I'm glad that guy didn't kill me. I don't know why he didn't or what was going on. Um, but I think... No, he doesn't run up the ladder. Um, <laughs> I tried to exercise the Uzi to show its might. And it really just proved that this gun is incredibly inaccurate. Um, even with the grip on it, which was kind of surprising. Because I know in Modern Warfare 2, uh, this gun was pretty damn good. Put a silencer on it and it was Jesus. you know. But you know, in that game, nothing had recoil. So I thought, let's controlled the recoil and then I saw that the iron sights uh, very quickly I saw that they were uh, pretty bad <laughs> uh, I personally I don't like them you know maybe you do I, I personally don't there's there's the uh, camping sniper cliff how original everybody camps there definitely uh, put a claymore down at the ladder here kind of like this jump down totally clueless I don't know what he would oh he's shooting at the guy uh, behind me and even so I thought this guy was gonna get me still blindly runs around the corner he just saw a teammate die there, you know, you know, the, I guess the more educated gamer or the smarter player would have kind of used caution when going around that. Uh, but anyways, that brings this commentary to a conclusion. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this and uh, any feedback that you leave is helpful. So guess I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Comment, rate, subscribe.